Hello, welcome back to New Thing, or whatever the hell this world is called. Uh, <laughs> I've got uh, Pegasus on Mumble, he can't talk right now due to stuff, um, but he can hear me whilst I'm recording, so I can see him talking in IRC. Um, so yeah, welcome back, I've been fairly busy, as have uh, Peg and Shanty. Um, I think shobo has been playing on the server as well, but I'm not sure where his base is. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's a bit more stuff, um, lots more trees, I extended the line of oak trees, um, I was using it to get saplings for a while. The grinder, um, I don't think, I think that was in the last video, um, but it's complete now, there's two spawners in it, I think. Harvested with a bedrock pick. Uh, well, Shanty's doing some witchery stuff, you can see in the center there, uh, you can see the altar. And I don't know what else she's doing because I don't really know what uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about witchery really yet. Um, apart from the fact that Shobu loves it and uh, likes to be a vampire, so he's constantly telling people to sleep and wants it to be night. Um, although I saw him flapping around. Um, when he turns into a bat, he can move pretty fast, faster than I could move with a hang glider and a jetpack. Uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, Pex just said, uh, "Do you want to fly for the video?" Um, and uh, uh, no, actually, no, nah, it's cool. Um, if I really need to fly for something, I'll ask you, Peg, thanks. Um, I've climbed up the top of the water tower so that we've got a fairly nice view. Um, you can see all the lovely day blooms and water, and uh, we can't see the hydro engines, but they're there. Um, you can see just there, I put up the portal to Alfheim um, to get elven resources and so on. I'm going to try not to fall off here. Oh, yeah, I've extended the rotary craft farm so it's a full sort of nine by nine crop area now and there you can see something I've never done before uh, a forestry tree farm um, let's go and have a look at that um, I never made one of these before and I remember the first mod pack I played uh, 1.47 that was um, Peg made a custom pack to try and encourage me to uh, to play because um, I was bored with vanilla I think and uh, yeah I remember seeing forestry and thinking it was pretty cool so here it is. It's being powered by mana at the moment. We've sort of diverted one of the mana spreaders, um, which is sort of, you can't quite see it, but it's there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been diverted um, to that mana pool up there. It doesn't really need the mana pool, but I'm trying to measure how much it uses. Um, and that's pointing straight down into this mana flux field, uh, which is nice. Uh, generates RF, and then down here, it's a bit messy, uh, <laughs> but because uh, it's sort of been, the floor was originally uh, like here, but uh, we sort of extended it downwards. I've put in a scalable chest from Rotary Craft, powered by two steam engines. So you can see it's full of uh, wood, apples and saplings and some sand as well. Uh, Pegasus has just said he hates that thing, the scalable chest I think he refers to. It does have some odd issues. Um, like you can't, you can sh shift click, but I think when it's filling it, you can't. And right now it should have space, but it, it won't let me shift click the saplings back in. It's better on the other pages, I think. See, that more or less works, as you'd expect. Sort of. It's not, it's a bit buggy, basically. Um, and now I've got those saplings. Uh, it probably needs fertilizer. Yeah, it does. God. It's almost as if I sort of had timed that. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Pegs just said Rotary Craft as a whole is a bit buggy. And uh, I would say that I've noticed a fair few bugs in it. Um, but then I've been playing it intensively, so I'm bound to notice a few. Uh, but it's certainly like, I would say it's stable. Um, the bugs are more like niggling kind of things rather than anything else. I'm not about to. I've been really enjoying playing Rotorcraft, so yeah, it hasn't crashed, um, which is the main main thing you want from a from a mod. You want stability. Um, anyway, I don't want to digress too much. Uh, yeah, farm canola mostly, uh, some other things because I want to make some cheeseburgers and fries later on. Uh, oh yeah, Peg built this AC engine from Rotorcraft. Um, we thought it might be nice for sort of passive. Uh, generation uh, with the redstone clock uh, and Peg knows redstone really well so um, yeah Peg's just said hasn't corrupted the world 
In fact, I'll put chat back on so we can see what he's saying. I can see what he's saying in IRC on my second monitor, but... Um, yeah, so it hasn't crashed yet, it hasn't corrupted the world. Uh, so points there for... <laughs> points there. Um, yeah, but the AC engine needs the shaft core to be magnetized, which is a bit fiddly and... Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter now, because we've now built this gas turbine. And that's a creeper. Hell out of here. Whoa. Okay. Just as well I got knocked back on my cleaver then. Yeah, look, gas turbine. Absolutely awesome. Um, and it killed Peg, because uh, we read everywhere that you shouldn't go, like, in the front of it, or the back of it, depending on how you look at it. Um, yeah, it's drawing an air from the, from the back, isn't it? So, no, it's drawing an air from the front. So, yeah, this will be the front, um, and that outputs power to the back. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, so Peg was, we were all being very careful not to go in the front of it, that's why we built this. We put, like, uh, fences in front of it to stop mo mobs getting sucked in, just in case, because that would damage it. Um, but then Peg hopped on top of it whilst it was running and died. Uh, <laughs> I had to shut it off, and his body was there because of uh, Cyano's lootable bodies mod, I think. Um, anyway, we uh, repaired the turbine, and everything was, was okay. Um... Peg didn't lose anything major, I think. Did you lose anything, Peg? Can't remember. Um, oh, this is kind of fun. Yeah, you don't think you didn't lose anything at all. Uh, yeah, if you ever need snow, and I need it for Britannia recipes, <laughs> it's quite a neat little uh, sort of snow machine setup, uh, which gets you a hell of a lot of snow pretty quickly. Um, Ah, oh, God, so much. There's the portal. Um, I'll have a quick look at the mana set up. Uh, I was in the process of rearranging all of this, actually. And I uh, don't quite know why there's... What's going on there? There we go. Yeah, um, the, the mana sort of pool system is really ugly right now. Um, or whatever. I'm just gonna fiddle about with that a bit. I don't need to do that, but never mind. Uh, there we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, I got this lunium that I crafted from uh, in Britannia. I uh, hadn't done that before. Really cool. Uh, yeah, well, that's uh, using this hop hog. Hello, pig. <laughs> Yeah, I got a hop hock there, and I still got to stop uh, the ring of magnetizing, sucking things up. And that's been doing quite nice work, I reckon. Um, got some thormium ingots, which will be useful for Tico, because uh, Iguana is in, so paper parts are disabled, I think. Or certain parts are disabled, so thormium you can use for the modifier instead. Uh, let's have a quick look at what um, Shanty's been doing. Here we go. Loads of flowers. Ooh. Using some nether brick and witcher's oven distillery. Ah, oh, it's all cool stuff. I gotta learn. Frame rate is really low suddenly. Uh sorry about that. Yep, I'm getting like twelve frames a second. What's going on there? Let me just check. Flowers. Which flowers? I'm pretty sure I've set particles to minimal, but let's uh, let's check. Can't remember where the freaking setting is. Uh, details, particles, animations, particles. Ah, yeah, Optifine. I hadn't decreased. Let's just do minimal. There we go. Thanks very much, Peg. Uh, he normally knows, <laughs> normally knows what's going on. Uh, I've totally forgotten what I was talking about, sorry. Uh, that's just so much to show you. I'm sorry I haven't, like, sort of done more regular videos, but it's just kind of hard for me to, re to record at good times. Um, oh, uh, there's a trapped chicken in here. So we've got loads of eggs and feathers. Uh, all pegs move some of the feathers. And we've got a grinder here now. The, the two mob grinders that we've harvested with a bedrock pick from Rotocrafter in there. Um, so, 
You can see if I just stand there for a bit, something should spawn. There's a skelly. Die. Seems to be a bit laggy. Oh, no. Alright. There we go. Nice and there. Uh, Nice and easy to use the button. Oh, I'm trying to level up my, uh... Yeah, no doubt. I'm trying to level up my, uh... Cleaver. Um, I got a knockback on it just now, which is kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna put... Yeah, I'm gonna put some quartz on it. I don't know. Just kind of want to see how far I can get with it. Um... Yeah. I just made this CBT, which is uh, a new thing for me. Uh, we've got, like, a grinder here, powered... Just by just for our steam engine at the moment, um, just for some passive thing. We've got loads of lube now. I was using a hydrokinetic engine to charge industrial coils before, but that was uh, it consumed the the hydrokinetic engine consumes a lot of lube, uh, a lot of lubricant. So uh, it was starting to seem like inefficient, and uh, yeah, jet fuel was the way to go. Uh, which we're making here. In fact, I think, yeah, full. We've got, like, what, six tanks of jet fuel now? There's probably some still in the... F yeah, oh, it's out of uh, tire sand. I was sure I was grinding some some of that. Ah, oh, bother. Where is it? There we go. I'll put it in the hopper rather than in there. There we go. Uh, what up? Uh, what's this? What ought to be enough to charge the coil? Oh, the six tanks of jet fuel, yeah. Um, so we can put those in the gas turbine, charge that. I don't think I'm going to do that right now, because I haven't really got the time, and I think that's worthy of a video in its own right, quite frankly. Um, that, and uh, I need to sort of sort out. Yeah, time lapse, it will be good. Um, yeah, I kind of like was in a rush, so I just added an extra fuel hose and there's a lot of jet fuel in there which I don't particularly want to waste. Uh, ah, yeah, the sky. Um, behold, the sun rising in the east. You may notice something in that it's not really moving and that's because we've got too much time mod installed uh, which I think sets it to real time so t a day is 24 hours. Um, and it's really nice because you get really cool like uh, dawn and dusk. All oh, right, peg set it to that. You can configure it. Yeah, so you can configure it to whatever you want. Um, and if you set it to real time or close to that, uh, you get really nice slow dusks and dawns. Uh, yeah, long dawn, long dusk. Feels different. It was really nice earlier when peg set it to. I think he set it to exactly um, sunrise, so the sun was right there. And you get that lovely red glow. I'm going to try and get some client. Uh, oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, man. Yeah, I want to try some uh, shader mods. I think that would be really cool. Um, I've seen like videos and screenshots of them, and I'm not sure whether I could record videos. Like, I want to like get 60 frames per second so I can record you know, decent, smooth video. I'm not sure if I could run client shader mods as well. Anyway. Hmm. So, yeah, gas turbine, uh, bedrock coil. Let's quickly pop to the nether. Um, I won't bother bringing the bedrock coil with me, but that's it. You can see we've got 84 gigajoules still stored in it. Uh, I was using it to power the extractor just now. In fact... I might, oh no, it's whatever. Oh yeah, cool uh, banners from uh, Thorncraft. I really like the look of those. Uh, what ladder got blown up? F oh, the uh, the one in the nether. Ah, uh, Quite a funny thing, when I built the bedrock breaker, um, I initially scurried down here and tried to mine it here. And then swiftly realised that due to the way the world was, the world gen was set, um, this bedrock is on layer one, uh, well layer zero, I think technically, because um, my feet are on are on one, which will be this layer here. Um, and the bedrock breaker won't cut, it won't break bedrock. 
on layer zero. Um, so I was thinking, I'm definitely got it powered right. You know, I was shoving four megawatts into it, but it wasn't working. And then I realized, um, yeah, it wasn't going to break that there. And Peg thought uh, we should try, like I was thinking, like we would have to like, not regen the world, I suppose, but like maybe just add some bedrock or something. But he was like, nah, just try the roof of the nether. I'm going to go up the ladder that I built anyway. See how far it gets. So, uh, yeah, so a cool perk of that, of course, is that you get. Oh, there it is. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I'll just. Have I got any. Uh, no, see, I normally carry something with me. Anyway. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a ghast over there. Ah. Oh. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> there we go. Can't have to fix that. I was going to enclose the whole ladder, um, so it just went straight up and wasn't exposed. It obviously, got hit by a ghast's uh, fireball, I guess. What was I talking about, Peg? <laughs> ah, witchery dogs. They must have done it. Anyway. Yeah, ceiling of the nether. So perk of this is that we've broken through the bedrock ceiling of the nether. Uh, a lot of people probably don't realise that. Whoa, it got quite far. Yeah, um, but like, technically, this is like the bedrock layer that's at the bottom of the overworld, and the nether is supposed to be like the flip side of it, underneath the overworld, and inverted, so everything's upside down. Uh, I didn't realise you could carry... I guess didn't think how high you could go. So yeah, this is the top of the <laughs> top of the nether. Bedrock ceiling. There were some mushrooms there, you can see some over there. And uh, yeah, this is the bedrock breaker. Change my max to, uh. Yeah, I have to say, Mojang, can we like do something with the uh the roof of the nether? It's a bit boring. <laughs> I think if you if you get up here you should be um rewarded with, you know, a gradient sky, maybe, or something. Or diamonds. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> There's blocks of diamonds. <laughs> diamonds everywhere. Um, yeah, so this is the chest that the Bedrock Breaker outputs to. We've got some bevel gears here um, to, to power it. We had to, like, point it up twice to break two blocks, so that we could then put it there, point it outward, and, uh, use two bevel gears to power it. I did have a line of four industrial coils here because I didn't build a gas turbine as soon as I should have. Uh, and yes, shout out to Shanti for doing so much awesome mining. Um, she gets poor frame rate, I think, in the base and she likes to explore anyway, so... Oh, Peg's just widened this, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, like, by the time I joined, I think, which was only like... It's what I know how to do. Well, you do it goddamn well. <laughs> So yeah, this is the uh, the bedrock mining outpost, so to speak. And uh, yeah, I think well, there was there was like sort of fifty blocks of diamonds last time I checked. I got through a fair few of them for Rotocraft. These diamond gearboxes and so on, because the diamond gearboxes don't seem to consume lube at all. Uh, you can see there's a, a bucket in there, according to Whaler, and they just don't seem to consume it at all, whereas the stone and steel ones do. Ooh. That's one other right. Um, oh, and uh, and they break, which is annoying. So, oh yeah, yeah, the gearboxes, stone and steel ones. Uh, when they run out of lube, or they get damaged, you can repair them, but it's just a bit of a pain. Basically, you kind of want to leave things and, and come back to them later and just let it take care of itself. Uh, let me just show you. This is my main pick. Um, I got. A random perk of lapis, like luck, fortune on my pick, which means I couldn't put a silky jewel on it, so I had to make a second pickaxe to put silky on it. And uh, I can now basically do this, which I think is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Going to sprint through netherrack with this pick, and it's not even that fast. I haven't put any redstone on it yet, this is just like a mastered pick. It's like what? Uh, mining speed. 
Yeah, eight technically from the other side, thirteen point five six pegs is even faster, I think. Sixteen point eight, there you go. Anyway, that's fun. And if we go all the way down here, might as well widen this tunnel whilst I'm at it. Boom! I just did that until I bonked into this redstone ore. And you'll be able to see there is loads of it. Oh, there's some art out there as well, that's nice. We went sort of what, west and east from the bedrock station. I think Peg's configured it so that it's fairly rare, but when you find it, it's quite a nice big cluster. So, yeah, I'll mine that later, because that's going to be boring. Uh, oops. There we go. So, yeah, Rotocraft, really enjoying it. Despite the, the few niggly bugs um, and a few improvements I'd like to see. I think Peg's got a list of things to report. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really fun. It introduces a, a lot. It's got a lot of content. It's got a really interesting concept, like the mechanical power. Um, it's quite unique. Um, yeah, it's a cool mod. I've really been enjoying it. Um, this is the way we originally dug up the bedrock, or Peg dug up it before I build that ladder. Um, just saw a little... Oh, oh right, didn't know that. Does resonant induction have... Uh, like the whole torque speed thing? Like proper... physics. Oh, cool. Yeah, I haven't really played resonant rise. Oh, I'll just point out that... Uh, there's a nether fortress there. Peg, uh... Let's have a quick... Zoom down to that. Peg, who likes to play, sort of, his own hardcore mode, decided to get to the top of the nether fortress by doing a sort of spiral staircase up one of the pillars. Which I went up before. If I take off my Sojourner's Sash. And, oh, it's a bit... I think it's safer than it was before. Oh, no, no. So, yeah, this is how Peg went up. I mean, like, I did it, but... <laughs> yeah, there's a much better path now. But... <laughs> first time I went up this, I was like, uh, yeah, I don't really want to fall into lava. But it's easy enough. It's just a little bit, uh... Ooh, cobalt. I'll have to get that later. Oh, God. God, movement is so slow without this thing now. Um, let's see, where do I go? Can I get back? There we go. Yeah, there's a much easier way to the nether fortress now. Fortunately. But that was how I picked it first, and then I went up there. Oh, thanks for TPing me. Ooh, cobalt. I like having really fast tools, so cobalt is, is nice. I'm completely disorientated now, Peg. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I mean, I know where I am, but like, I don't know how to get back. <laughs> that was the entrance. All right, yeah. Thanks. Uh, and I've lost you. Where'd you go? Ah, oh, the torches. Ooh. Helps if you uh, eat food. Were you going somewhere in particular, Peg? Did you just want to show the, uh, the spawners? Uh, yeah, sure. I better cut this video short soon. Let's get some more nether quartz, so I'll put it on. Uh, Put on weapons for sharpness and so on. Oh, I think I took my ring off and didn't. There we go. Yeah, sorry, I was just doing that. In fact, actually, I might just go back and show off the rest of the base and do nether stuff later. Yeah, hive. 
Uh, I found another one somewhere. I think I made a note of it somewhere. The question is, can I remember how to go back to... There we go. <sighs> yoink? What did he just yoink? Oh, you yoinked the hive. You adept yoinker. Pretty sure this is the way back. Looks like it. <laughs> yeah, I like trying to say things that sound wrong. It amuses me. <laughs> and here we are. Back at base. You can see here, that was the obsidian that I assume uh, Peg and Shanty originally mined. Um, they'd already had it before I got it. Oh yeah, a rotary craft composter running at 65 degrees because it's down near the near bedrock. Um, lots of yeast and apples. Am I talking about the portal? I can't even remember what I was talking about. That's literally how. Oh, the obby. Yeah, like uh, there was, it was there was obby in the ore chest when I got here. I think. Thank you. I can't remember now. Alright, oh, you did it that way. Neat. The old, uh, like, speed run way. Yeah. Does the iron scrap work in the high oven? I thought that was a, um... Oh, you added it. Neat. Yeah, because before it was mine came only. So yeah, this is our base at the moment. Oh yeah, we've got a drum of the wild here, uh, and the jaded amaranthus was where that chest was uh, for flower production, which means that all of these chests are just full of Britannia flowers, which is kind of fun. I think Peg needed it to uh, to make all the the generational generating flowers. Sorry. Um, I disabled it because the flowers were becoming a bit of a hassle. We having to manually move them over and stuff. It was a bit of a, bit of a chore, but yeah. And Peg, I think I mentioned earlier, Peg wrote a program for computer craft turtles. Yeah, we do have absurd amounts of flowers. <laughs> yeah, so he generated like the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's have a quick look at the program. Which computer? Oh, uh, yeah, I think the turtle was destroyed in the, um, in that bedrock cord explosion. Yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, oh, hmm. There's a turtle around here somewhere. The other turtle. Oh, cool. Where was he? Alright. Say hello to Hodor. Let's watch uh, Peg do his thing. So yeah, Peg wrote well, he's written quite a lot of programs. <laughs> not just for not just for computer craft. Oh, he's gonna have to write get again. Oh that's like a little program though, isn't it? Yeah, you could just copy the well, do whatever. Coming up to half an hour now, so Let me know when you start uh, typing in that thing again. Yeah, nice way of uh, generating lots and lots of flowers. Yes. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call this uh, particular episode short. Might well record the next one soon. Um, as ever, thanks for watching. Please give me your feedback if you feel like sharing. I'm always curious to know what people think, which I think I say at the end of all of my videos, but seriously, people seem to watch them. Not many, but you know, some people. I find that kind of interesting. Right, thanks for watching. Until next time.